Well, hi. My name is May, and this is Witcher 3 Part 5. We made a lubberkin. We made a cute little spirit baby out of something that was not so cute. Um, after we went and saw the Bloody Baron, Geralt basically confronted him and accused him of being a garbage human being, which he was. So Geralt convinced the Bloody Baron to tell us where he had buried his unborn child so we could turn her into a lubberkin, and then she could tell us where her mom and sister are. We ended up finding Tamara in Oxenfurt, and she has no desire to go back, and we have yet to find out where Anna is. We also had a nice little chat with the ladies of the woods via their slave granny, and we are now being sent off to, I think it's kind of a wild goose chase to be honest, to get more information about where Siri is, because they just won't straight up tell us, because of course they won't. So, I'm excited, I hope you're excited, let's go. All right, so let's go see the alderman. Oh, I didn't think there would be like a little new village here. Oh, oh goose! It's you. It's you. Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right. Boy, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Boy. Recognize this dagger. Master, I didn't know you belonged to them. Mm. Eh. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Maybe I should Tell have faked me what it. it. Is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power, an evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock, they I don't lie. think that man's supposed to be here. Unburied. <laughs> fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard oh, to move them. There he goes. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Yeah, I need, need more, more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Good fertilizer. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. And it grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. The ladies have probably been able to ladies help this whole time. Ladies of the wood time. don't know what this power is. They don't care. They know all. Yeah. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. They sent me three years late, though. Wild. I wouldn't be Take praising them. Oh, this is like quite far. Also, I got- I switched into armor. That's higher level. It's ugly as fuck. But what can you do? Oh, we got the hiccups. Don't run over a sheep. Oh, oh god. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Okay, supposedly this way. Ugh. I'm so sick of swamps. And I've barely even done much. Nope, we're not fighting. I'm not wasting my time on some drowners. Or wolves, for that matter. We're gonna figure out what's killing these villagers. Oh! You're fine, Rush. You're fine. Who was it? Sounds really 
Can I just... Can I get by? Do you think... Do you think I can? Because, like, you just get your health back. No! Scare me. Who are you? Place of power. Should oh, this is a place it. of power. Okay. Oh, nope. All day. Ooh, that was for Igni too. Sick. Um. So, you don't want me here, but I'm coming in anyway. It's so hard to see. Didn't really go anywhere. I don't think. No, I didn't. Pay attention to the map when you think. No. No. I have to get through a different way, I guess. But it looks like I can't. sounds so evil. Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I definitely think this thing is evil. I was attacked. This is my Christmas. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul may hunt, for I defy them. Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows. Helplessly sliding or rusty. Must know the crowns pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Why did they kill you? The crowns want this land. 
They drove the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. And now you're a gross, spiny, you to be slug so. flesh creature. I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. I think. I mean. If something threatens the orphans, yeah. I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can't be a girl. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. I definitely don't believe him. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to add ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. I can't remember. I can't what remember. You know? I feel like they're the both evil. Like obviously the crones are evil. The but I think this this guy is evil too. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. I think the children can be saved. I don't- I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth and the children have been taken, but I- I think he's evil. Do I think it over or do I just say fuck- like fuck you? Like a, he's- he's not really giving me anything. Like, I feel like if he was a good guy he could maybe explain things more, but he's being like purposely vague, which makes me think that he's just bad. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Yeah, Words plus he's alone, affecting a whole village, probably. Dead and you will rise. All the powers oh, no, I'm gonna have to fight him. Ah! Uh. I guess I won't know. Oh well, at least the, <laughs> the end of the quest always makes you feel good with that sound. Even if you did something wrong. Okay, no, Geralt, stop showing up. Where are some of the just shrooms? Another four. We go. We will go tell the elder man. Oh. Magic. A place of power. I've already. What? I already drew from it. Why did it work? I thought you could only do it once. Hey guys. I'm busy, busy man. No, you're not. You're just fucking standing there. Let me freaking go. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. 
How do you dispel I mean, this? I, I'm making the assumption. Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. I'm very confident, so hopefully. The crones, or the ladies fine. of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. I hope we're not talking human sacrifice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they collect ears. Oh yeah. Why did it have to be your own? Oh. There is so payment. Gross. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, Is all it? those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Yikes. Well, hunting boots. I played hide and seek with these kids. Hey guys. Keep your weapon, young man. In real life, you're different. This is what filters do. The tapestry. Well, bring it here. I guess you find out right now. Anyway. How did it, how did they do that? Magic? Oh, they're absolutely repulsive. <laughs> so cool. I love. Never design. seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seed sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Mm. I mean, yeah, they used me. Of course they did. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not spring, brave soul. <gasps> she just looks like meat. Did you destroy up. the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. Okay, so he was evil. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight. So evil. Mm. I want to know both of these things. Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. You did say that. But she couldn't deceive you, brave knight. She? You've rid the world of a great evil. I don't really know if that's true. You looked different in the tapestry. 
We're all dressed up just for Poor you. kids' arm is just, oh. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Mm -hmm. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Why would I believe anything that they say? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We let beast in trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. Oh my god, she's so tiny compared to them. Well, her. She's like a little doll. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emirates will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. And plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Serious to start. Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, hello. Oh god. What? Hello? 
waste. You know? Doesn't make much sense. Escape! Where are you going? Sometimes bad guys, they're just too cool. I get jealous. Like, why do you look like that? I want to look like that. I want Daryl to be like, fully decked out in that type of armor. Be cool. Okay, you can wait two seconds. I guess you kind of have to escape. Because the ladies are going to be on her ass. Surprise, surprise. It's because she's wearing heels. That's why. You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. But would it bring back your youth? Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. I'll find her and come back for you. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. That's what you think. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, oh, she see you and some light. Her <laughs> voice acting is so good. <laughs> like a child. Such a cool aspect of this game. Anna! Hello. I'm over encumbered. What? Inconceivable. Oh, I've got stuff that I changed. Okay, well, I don't need these stupid hunting boots. Good enough? I'll sell the other gear. Um, is she in here? Anna? Ran? So I had remembered that, obviously, I had remembered that Graham was Anna, but I was wondering what, um, how old she is, because they say Anna's in her 40s, and obviously Gran, I think Gran, um, she was just aged a lot by serving the ladies, that's why she looks super old. Um, did, she, did, did they just leave with her? Maybe? Um, but I also was wondering, like, when does this occur? Um, but I guess it's per purposely ambiguous because you can do this quest at any point. Um, so I don't think they wanted it to be like, oh, it's been exactly this many weeks or this many months since Gran's been, or since Anna has been Gran. Um, but I, I think the way the kids made it sound, like they had been with her for at least a couple of months. So I think it's like upwards of a year that she's been here. Um, but I, it's, it's hard to say that they, I think they just don't want you to know. Okay, so she's gone, so what? Do I just go to the Bloody Baron and tell him, hey, yeah, you just tell him. Okay, let's go do that, because he should know. Hey buddy, I got some bad news. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. Can I go tell tomorrow? You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Well... Hmm. 
<laughs> well, yes. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Well, some things are. I'll let you talk, Probably though. gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right, then. I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it. I did get home. <laughs> I mean... Alright. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him... Something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. <laughs> Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. <laughs> I slaughtered other people for that nickname. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. Yeah, you fucking murdered someone. She flew into a fit. <laughs> Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. I'm just curious as to why they slept together. <laughs> or what? Uh, what one moment of... I don't know, forgetting all of the shit that they've been through and they've done to each other. <sighs> I 
I mean, this is obviously an incredibly complicated thing, but he still fucking murdered someone in, like, probably right in front of them. And, like, I just... That's pretty much the... I'm gonna say it seems you deserve each other, because he's gonna be mad at me, but, like... You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. I don't know. I still think he's Very a well. lot worse. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Hmm. I don't think the witches will be very happy with that. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. Yeah, fulfill your end. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Landed right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Oh, jeez. What the heck? There's no way that was on purpose. <laughs> that must have just been like a foil that that happened. Okay, are you gonna come down? Oh, you can hear Super cool looking thing. A big chicken lizard. Rooster. Oh. So weird. What an experience that would have been. You gotta tell your friends that story. I'm assuming it's Damn it! I can't leave him like that. Uh what? Why can't I Ah Yeah Let's see oh. uh.
You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Mm. I guess we're even, yeah. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Excited to go to Novigrad. Go see Triss. And all the scary shit that happens in that city. She mounted and I rode think. off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing, and they'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. See, I don't know if he would have given me the letter if I told him that he was 100% at fault. Where do you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you, which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Okay. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. For Anna. Ha! True indeed. She didn't deserve to be there. I'll round up well, I mean, and ride to Down Warren. She made the you pack, but she got there. tricked, so. Fine. Sounds good. <laughs> I forgot about this little dude. <laughs> what was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. <laughs> so I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. That's so messed up. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone waged him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. 
Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, the merchants, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. You know, it's not really something to... I mean, it's just another mouse to feed for him, too. Like Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, oh you wouldn't know a good tail from a runny fart. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say gambling a person. Well, you know, whatever he Papa is. Baron now. is really a, got a jester. funny thing. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, obviously well, not. he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or well, maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So diversion, long. basically a little creature Farewell. to bully and make fun of. Your daughter. It's weird that Geralt isn't like, hmm, must be a curse, because I feel like it's and pretty prove obvious. a good father to her. I'm wondering, can I? I thought I could tell Tamara about her mom so she can come rescue her. Hmm. I wonder if I can. Ooh, my next thing is visit Triss. Um. What do you see here, Vic? Oh, right, I can just, I haven't even done Kira's thing. I should do that. Um, can I? I feel like Tamara might just show up anyway, regardless. I don't know. Hmm. What do we do first? I just realized that Siri's room is here. I wasn't thinking about it for some reason. And that's why I have a chest, because it could be my room now. Oh, I see, I see. Hey, ladies. So Siri was here. The natural, the natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? To my dear friends, Philip and Anna. Um, from Count Le... I don't know how to say that. Minister of Culture to the Kingdom of Temeria. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one's being... Of one being's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it's so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Veracruz Leon recommends. Cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind. Hmm. The dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. Mm hmm Also, let's stash some shit. Perfect. Oh, we're gonna just hop on there, just for a little hot sec. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Mmm. This is a huge bed. This is like a very nice room. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Ooh, we get to go see Gretka. Why did I not do this earlier? Oh, it's this way. Gretka, where are ya? I'm calling her like she's a dog. 
Oh, Gretka, come here, Gretka. So you're Gretka? I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? A fishy boy heir and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Mm, look at you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top. Oh Wait, my god, that's it? huge. I thought it'd be Siri's small. Room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. That was really nice. Is <laughs> What is she, a toy maker? That was so nice looking for her to just have carved it. No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. Aww. The Baron told me she'd left. Probably would have been hard, I gone. guess. I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. Mm. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gritka. Oh. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. <laughs> no time for Thistle. fun. Thistle. Shanana King. <clears throat> Looks like you're helping a lot. Okay, now let's cocky. go see Kira. Ooh, I think there's a quest with these guys, too. Hope may I assist you. Maybe not. Mm. Oh yeah. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of twenty years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? <laughs> Light but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. <laughs> and how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong, and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordorok use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordorok folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. Doesn't like Geralt talking to her. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Cool. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Yeah, that won't be for a while, but still. Um, I also... Help me, I Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Sell, sell, sell. So long. Cool. Okay, now let's go. The rats, why did he leave them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? 
I'm interrupting. Didn't even knock. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. Renee, the mage, he says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Didn't he drink it? We already established that. We found it empty. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How did it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. You gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serav, the lord of these lands, took Sarah. refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Mm-hmm. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no <laughs> end to it. Uh -huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. Fair. But you also, there's more to it. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Um, I th they made this All seem right. like it was I'll a long help. time ago, but honestly, I knew it was a long really time. So. Naturally, you'll need to sail Not to as long as I was thinking. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with it's you. So cool I shall let lamp. you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Faikai once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that hmm. sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Good to know. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. 
You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will oh. tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I thought she was being sneaky and that she hid it from me, but I guess if she didn't realize. I need to know anything else things. before I go. No, that is all. Off you go, Geralt. Oh, do go my bidding. Already. I can't wait to see yeah. what you discover on Fi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And Geralt. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. If you I I swear she was like, oh I'll tell you the truth from now on. But there's definitely shit she's hiding about this, because why why would she ever Like I don't fully remember this part, but why would she ever care about the villagers? She doesn't give a shit about them. Oh my god, this is so far away. Ah Holy smokes. Oh no, never mind, this is I'm not following the right thing. Why did it because it's a new one, I guess? Okay, now where is it? Oh. So close. Oh, I can hear. Oh yeah, the boat can get damaged, I think. Let's accelerate. Very pretty. Hope they don't get attacked by any, like, sirens or anything. This is kind of far. I thought it might like auto do it where you don't have to boat yourself, but obviously that's not the case. We're in it for the long haul. Geralt, can you hear me? How close is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine, feminine intuition. intuition. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, Kira. What a jokester. I actually really like her. She's like snarky. She's not as snarky as Yen, but she's like... She can hold her own. Oh no. Look at all those. I think those are the blowy up ones. Are they like rot fielders or fucking some. Something terrible. Lanto. Oh. Person. Geralt? Are you on the aisle yet? Why Does the box work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. <laughs> Great. Broke already. Sheesh. Short lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. Got the lamp. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh. That was not what I meant to do. There's someone on the island. I can hear. A woman screaming. Then when I look, I only see drowners. Hmm. Come on, Geralt. Oh my. Ooh. Okay, let's take out this thing. Do I have to just keep it? It's optional, so. Okay, so I literally just hold it. Oh, I think I use these for things. Yes. I do. I think that makes oils. Some more baddies crawling around. What is that? Is that a ghoul? Oops, nope.
Those are creepy. I kind of like them. Oh, a little one too. Ooh. How do I get in? I hear more meanies around. I think there's a specific way to get in, but I can't remember. Hi, Ghoulie. Oh, why are you so much higher leveled? Right through the tree. Like, what is this? Oh! Jeez. Oh, water hag. Okay. Water and fire. Not just. Got the bugs, I guess. Do they even attack me? I don't know. Who's to know? What is this? Oh, it's just a bottle. Oh. Getting a tickle. So can I just go in the tower without using my lamp at all? Rats! She was talking about rats. Old goat hide, just what I wanted. Let's try Kira's land. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Okay. What is it? Hello? Oh my. Oh, it's creepy down here. I'll ever understand him. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let him out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? They can swim. You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. <laughs> Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Took a while to get the stench there. So many rats. What are you guys eating? These bodies are like already skeletons. I can't imagine you're gonna get any uh, nutrition out of it. Place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. Well, Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. I guess I guess he's saying that they are feeding on the bodies. But they're like bones. <laughs> okay. Creepy basement done. Stairs next. Start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. They're through the door in the tower. Ooh, nice hat. Yeah, the peasants came and beat your ass because you were a dingus. That's what happens. Anything to loot? Nope. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, there's one right here, too. Well, there should be. Maybe that was the servant or something. Here. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Mm -mm. Blood. Many must have died here. Many? This is a weird place to live. Oh, hi. Silent. What's out here? Doors blown down? Just a, a nice view of the swamp, maybe? Ooh, a chest. Eh, nothing special. Break it down. Well, let's extinguish this. Huh. Didn't work. Hmm. Oh, that's a new body. Cold! Piles of it! I won't do the dead mm -hmm. any good now. Looters. Strange is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Oh. oh, oh. One metal pellet. Pelt, I think it said. Not pellet. These rats, they really give zero fucks. What the fuck was that? Harold's not- he's not meant to ghost hunt. It's too spooky. We can start our own show, though. I'm sure it would do really well. Like a YouTube show. Harold's the ghost hunter. Oh, hey! Oh, she's running. She's leading us. Oh, a master crossbow. Stop making things topple over! It's creepy. I guess she's gonna be at the top again. That was such a oh ah. Oh, very nice. Have you got the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Okay, what the heck is this? Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. This? Oh, you can hear someone crying. Ooh. Can't look at the handprint though. Oh, I assumed that was gonna open something here. Oh, this as well. Unless they both need to be down. Oh, yes, there we go. Secrets. Can I light this candle? I can't. Okay, fine. Wanted some ambiance. Mm, looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. You know, we immediately start looting, as we should. And there's some creepy things in here. Experimenting on humans. Hmm. Never would have gotten away with it if the yeah. conclave were still in charge. Creepy. Okay, what do you? Oh, Annabelle, what's going on? Try to loot. Oh no! Annabelle, don't fight me. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Ooh, that's cre she looks you? creepy. Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. 
always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye could see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away Here's in his boy tower. Toy. He's dead too, you know. I think. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet I mean, we had we just, little food as well. She said that they Too owned to share with a those lot. Who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... Couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. Mm -hmm. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. That's horrifying. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Mm, a little defensive there. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. You're not like the other girls. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but... Who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled. 
and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? Hmm. You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Yes. Fine. Even I'll though she's a little sketchy, but Where I think I find him? she's just he lives in the also village on the lake shore. He doesn't yet. realize it. What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. Let me just pick up your bones. Be a lot of bones, a full body. Heavy, probably. Um, is there anything else other than these creepy... I mean, she had good reason not to trust this. I do not like that. Like, she's like, mm, I didn't trust him. Really? You mean the guy that does human experiments? You didn't, you didn't feel safe with him around? What's up here? Anything over here? Oh, Kept great. in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Yikes. Also, that kind of looks like a child's body. Yeah, so this guy was just abhorrent. Ugh. Cool, though. This place is a shithole. It needs to go... It needs to be bulldozed. <laughs> No one should be on this island, even when the curse is lifted. There's still like, I don't think the drowners and stuff have anything to do with the curse, they're just here. Ah. Um, hello? Was that her? I like bumped into a rat and it made it sound like I bumped into a person. Like I'm pretty sure that's what that was. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken. Huh. Weird. Hey okay, Graham, let's frickin' go. Graham! Pam Graham! Pam Pam Graham! You in here? I want to talk. You deaf, dammit! I told you! Who are you? <laughs> I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? <laughs> his voice does not match his face at all. want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Mm. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course. 
It was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle, for me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, no, then she so drank sad. the poison. The mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. Mm. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't Ooh, poison. I don't know if I would tell Annabelle them that. drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... Is she... You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was oh, full man. of corpses. I don't think this guy needed to hear this. Rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But can't they? She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed kind of on sure. the island, I doubt you'd have survived. Yeah. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. How would he have taken her body I could do and made it onto it a now. boat? Wrong on that count. Probably wouldn't have. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But what can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are her bones. Yes. Give them here. Give them. And leave me be. Woo! We've done it. That's such a sad story. Like, what do you do? Like, what do you do with that information now that you know that your love was eaten Man alive by rats? <gasps> uh, hello? What the fuck? Dead. Annabelle was no longer than a ghost. Mm. She's a pesta, and now she's free. That bitch. I, I didn't know if she was purposely tricking us, or if it was just something that, like, she didn't realize that she was actually, like, an evil ghost. Does that make sense? Um, but no, I guess she wanted to kill him. That's not very nice. He's, like, so upset about it. Hmm. We should go back to Fike. Deal with her, right? Oh, right, sorry. Let's go deal with her and then we'll tell. Or can I? I don't have to deal Whoa, with her at all? Rich. I thought I had to. Okay, well, I guess not then. Where are you? Just when I was starting to miss you. Mm. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. <laughs> Were you too Subtle. close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded. 
as fellow magic practitioners. Well, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Alembics? Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm -hmm. no. I lifted the curse, so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And pesta. you fail to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. I knew, I knew that she was bad, but I didn't... I, the I don't remember what I what did do you last want to do time. With it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. I appreciate that offer. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. See, I feel like that's why she All wants right. to go to the tower. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novograd. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Did you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Her voice gets all nice when Why she's not? asking for something. If he was coming here from Novograd, he must have passed through Black Bell. I'll check the area. Yeah, I will. Thank you. I shall be ever Eventually. so grateful. Eventually. Not right now. Right now, we are going to finish. Ooh, feels good. Okay, next time. Oh. A word with you, the stop. Stop it, Ask stop. The service of the Witcher, the Palamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. Hi. What do you need? Tell me. Go a man her. who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rights to conduct. Wandering souls. How did he know emerge. I'd be here? Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What's the point? Why hold the ritual at all? At times, men die choking with regret. At times, death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on forefathers. Those eat. chicken feet don't look very dry, so Seems like it's you leading me to believe witcher. that they're going to so, stink yeah, because they're like rotting. You not refuse the you know I mean? you. Like they're the not, they don't look dry. Across the lake we must oh. journey to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Oh. No. That's too much work. Why do you still have a little exclamation point? No, it's gone. Uh, we will consider doing that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. I don't remember if it's, if it's anything worth doing, but... Um, next time we will go to Novograd, and what else do we have, actually? Oh, nope, don't punch. Don't punch. Um. Oh, yes, we have to go get Anna. We will do that. And... Ugh. I don't know, we can do Kira's thing, too, because it's probably pretty easy. We'll do these two, and we'll consider Forefather's Eve, and then we will head to Novograd. So... If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. You could have clicked on any video, but you clicked on mine, and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.